What's up guys, it's Imre here and today I actually have a tutorial on how to make smooth slow motion in DaVinci Resolve 12. So let's jump right into it. Okay guys, welcome back. Now I have my Resolve open here and uh, I have found a clip where I jump from the ground and I thought that would be a great idea to uh, make slow motion in. So uh, yeah, when we find a clip, just go to the edit tab here in the bottom. And then you can drag the clip down to the timeline. Very simple. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. Just like that. Okay. So now I have the clip down to the timeline. I also want to show you guys how to do normal speed and then I come slow motion where I jump. And then when I'm falling to the ground again, I come normal speed again. So if you want to do that, you're going to find the place where you want to start the slow motion. Here, where I jump, I'll start it, let's say, yeah, here's a good place. Okay, so when you find the place where you want to start the slow motion, go here to the Razer Edit Mode. Now the Razer Edit Mode is going to clip the clip up into more pieces. It's still going to be the same clip, but it's going to make more pieces. So we click on that, and we're going down to the red marker here where I want to start the slow motion, and we click once. Okay, so now our clip is in two pieces, but we also want to find the spot where I stop doing slow motion. So where I fall down here, see, right there is a good place. Okay, so we click again. Oh, we need to have the marker here. We need to find it with the marker. Um, there is a good place. Okay, so we get over the red marker again and we click once again. Okay, so now we have three pieces in one clip. So it's just gonna play it's gonna play normal. As you can see here, it's just gonna play normal, but it's in more pieces. As you can see, pretty normal. Um okay. So now we want this clip to be in slow motion. So we're gonna go down and right click on it. And then go to change clip speed. Okay, now comes the tricky part because this clip is actually shoot in 1080p 60 frames per second. And that means you can't just go down to like 5% and do ultra slow motion. You also have to follow up with the frame rate. So let's go say 18. And then click on the box here where it says ripple sequence. What ripple sequence is going to do for you is going to make the smooth transition between slow motion and normal speed. So we're going to click that. Then I'm gonna click on change. Okay, so as you can see here, the spot where I want to do slow motion is coming a little bit bigger. So let's try and play it here. Go into the liver and start playing. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks pretty choppy. Um, and there is a thing we can do about that because it is smooth slow motion. I want to teach you guys how to do. So go back to the edit tab here and then click on the clip where the slow motion is, then go up to the inspector, and then go down to the read time process, and then click on project settings, and then go down to optical flow. Now what optical flow is gonna do for you is gonna make more frame rate that you actually have in your clip. So this clip is 60 frames per second, but it's gonna make more frame rate so it looks smoother. But it is still tricky because you can't, you have to follow up with your frame rate. If you want to do ultra slow motion, as I said before, you need to have more frame rate in your clip. So if you want to do ultra ultra slow motion, go and record in 120 frames per second or more. So you still have to follow up. It can, it's not Twixter, but it is a nice feature in, uh, in Resolve 12. So go down and then go back and see what it looks like. As you can see, it looks not choppy, but it's still not trickster, but it is pretty nice. Um, we can just play it again here. Nope, I <laughs> shouldn't have. Try and play it again. So, yeah, it's not looking choppy, but it's still not a trickster, but it is a nice little... Um, feature you have in Resolve 12. 
Um, it looks pretty nice. See it again. There it was. Yeah. So if you want to have ultra slow motion, you need to follow up with the frame rate you actually shoot in. So if you have it, if you will have it more slower than this, you have to record in higher frame rate than 60 frames per second. But yeah, I, I'd say 60 frames per second is pretty standard um, for the GoPro. This is shoot in the GoPro because it's still 1080p and you still keep the image quality and you still have the frame rate so you can slow it down. So it's pretty decent to shoot in 1080p 60 frames per second. It's pretty standard. So that's why I choose to, to, to take this clip in this video. Okay, guys, that is how you do smooth slow motion in the Vinci Resolve 12. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please give a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. Um, I appreciate so much if I can get a comment down there, uh, tell me what you think about this tutorial. Um, I appreciate the feedback. Okay guys, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.